hello, hello, everybody. It's your local poker here. And I thought today we would go over all TF2 community servers. Obviously, these are all just opinion. They are not fact. If you like more or don't like more, that is perfectly fine. First up is Uncle Topia. I would have to put it at usual TF2. Because I have had a mix run-in with very bad moderation, but, uh, and very aggressive players in the sense that they would call, you know, a lot of names, call people bad, but that that's like usual TF2. And then there's also, you know, the people who are cursing people out because they're not using meta, but that happens in every game. Uh, I, I like random crits, so that does take a little bit of points off of Uncle Topia, but they have fixed weapon spread, which is very based. Uh, overall, it's all right. Next up is Skyle. Skyle, I would do, is pretty good. And you may say, Skyle on top of Uncle Topia? It's because Skyle has been around for so long and how many memories are associated with it for me that leads it to be one of uh, pretty good instead of usual TF2. I've met a lot nicer people on these servers, but I've also met a lot bigger assholes on these servers. It's a good mix of everything, and of course it has random crits, which also bumps it up pretty big. But I used to spend a bunch of my time on Skyle. Next up is UGC.TF. I actually will have to, have to do it as pretty good as well. I have never really had big issues with them. The most I think I've had is servers being empty on occasion, but that's because, you know, people aren't always playing this game and that's perfectly fine. And yeah, nothing really much to talk about UGC.TF. Next up is Wonderland. And Wonderland will have to go to usual TF2. I've had a couple bad experiences uh, with moderation from them, but their gameplay is at least pretty decent. I've had any ping issues or anything like that. So overall, they're, they're just kind of they're kind of there. Now, next up is YouTuber servers. And as much as I would like to say, Uncle Tobia is that technically there's like 20 Uncle Tobia servers. Uh, they're mid, including my own. The, the, our YouTuber servers are just mid. Usually you do it for like a group of your friends or uh, uh, people, right? And you just dick around and have a lot of fun. Uh, but because of that, that leads into a lot of issues, moderation, mod abuse, stuff like that. And a lot of the time they kind of get left unattended because it's TF2. So overall, YouTuber servers, a majority of the time are just kind of mid. Jump Academy. Listen, I may not be a soldier main, but they are so welcoming. They let me... I've been taught a rock and jump on Junk Academy for so long. This is where my friend also goes for it. Wonderful people. Wonderful. Potato MVM. I actually, I will put it at the top of pretty good. Because I've heard a lot of great things about it. And the what, couple times I was playing Potato MVM, it was pretty good. People were more or less kind of, you know... Enjoying MVM, but also we're trying to take it a little bit, you know, during the events, taking it more seriously. But then you can also have a lot of fun as well. Just steer clear of the people who are going super sweaty in it, and you should be fine. Uh, trade servers. Trade servers I would have to put at the top of a usual TF2. It's almost like, you know, dealing with MGE servers mixed with being able to trade stuff and sometimes if people are you know nice they might even give you something for free but that's not always a guarantee overall trade servers are pretty good fun maps uh usually a fun community and a lot of good times all around and to finish it off we have everything else uh garbage <laughs> it's uh, it's more mid than garbage but i won't put something in garbage uh now, this doesn't mean every single community server that is in any of these is garbage. There are certain ones that are definitely diamonds in the rough. But I can assure you, joining a random YouTuber, or, or not random YouTuber, but joining a random servers that aren't connected to any of these is usually a 50-50. You either find a really good small community or the worst people to ever exist in the community. Not, it is one or the other. 
And with that, that is my TF2 community server tier list. If you want more tier lists like this, make sure to subscribe, follow, e-hookers, all the above. I will see you all next time, and stay poker.